What's going on guys? My name is Jessica, but you can call me Yay. Welcome to my channel if you are new and if you've been following my Attack on Titan journey, welcome back. So basically, I just finished episode 29. I'm hopping right into episode 30. I am in shock that, well, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but Chris's friend just turned into a Titan. She was acting weird along with Reiner, but I did not expect her to be a Titan. I love this. I love the fact that they just kind of like threw that on me, like just so they didn't prolong it, just so I had my suspicions. They really caught me off guard. So that's something I'm really excited excited about now because the past couple episodes is just me speculating and just kind of figuring out what's going on but now we got some action so i'm ready to see her titan form so let's hop right into it so we're about to see whatever the friend was talking about before she jumped off the tower um she mentioned something about the promise she made or something they talked about in the snowy mountains Dang, nine hours. <laughs> oh, Marco. First thing in the morning. Um, so you're just gonna leave out that uh, leave him out there wow she's so strong-willed then why would she be doing that why does she keep telling krista that Yeah, she keeps trying to say something that she wants to die as a hero. So she's involved with the church. <笑>違うね。それ。ことを否定したら負けなんないのままで生かした<笑> Oh, did she see her transform back then? Is she gonna tell her? So she knew? Oh, I wonder how she looks like as a Titan. She looks so ugly. <laughs> Nothing like Annie. Was it the same Titan? No way. What a coincidence. Ah, oh, Krista. Oh, uh, 
because she knew. Oh, he was just. Wow. I thought he was hurting her because of that reason. Oh, she didn't tell her? I could have sworn in the mountain. Either Chris is lying or she really didn't know, but it seemed like she told her in the mountains. I know. Like, is she the same with Annie? Does she know Annie was a Titan? Oh, wow. What, what about everyone inside? <laughs> wow. Hanging onto her hair. That's so strange, though, because since she's a female, she doesn't have the body of a female. Can she escape like Annie escaped? No, she can escape, right? Okay, she's still in there. Oh, oh Krista. Oh, was that Mikasa? Nice. No, <laughs> oh, was that his first kill? <laughs> oh, <Aww>. oh, Aaron. <laughs> what about the friend, though? Oh, man. Oh. Oh, does she die like that? Mm. To be continued. Yeah, no, that totally caught me off guard. I did not expect there to be a Titan. She was a, um... She was a different Titan. When Annie turned into a Titan, she looked more like an armored and a colossal type Titan. She just looked like one of the others, but obviously she had intelligence. So that's weird. So like anyone can be whatever sort of Titan. Like Aaron is the elk Titan. She was that weird looking Titan. Annie was like a cool looking Titan. So you got the armor Titan, you got the colossal Titan, you got the gorilla slash beast Titan. Like anyone can, any sort of tie-in anyone can be. And then Kony thinks that that other tie-in that couldn't get up and that was on top of the house is, was his mother. So, oh my gosh, my head hurts. <laughs> like, humans that are titans, dude, are they part of this big 
origin or are there two different ones? Is I think the beast titan is part of somewhere different compared to like our scouts that are titans, maybe. Are they, are they born titans? I don't know, like, this is so weird. Like, Aaron didn't know he was a titan, but the other girl knew she was a titan. So did Annie. So how are these humans becoming titans and what is their goal? Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. If you like the comment down below, I love hearing from you guys. Please no spoilers, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you for the next one.